good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about the combustion in ci engine that is compressed ignition engine and we can call it as diesel engine also and first of all we should think about the stages of combustion ci engine that is compression ignition engine so this is the pressure and the crank angle actually the combustion start at the end of compression and continue till it reaches to the top dead center piston reaches to top dead center and continue when the piston starts move in the downward that is in the expansion that means the combustion starts at the end of compression and combustion ends at the beginning of expansion that's it so that means at the end of uh, compression we are giving this we are giving uh, we are supplying the fuel because in the com in the compression ignition engine air alone enters in the suction stroke at the end of compression that means almost piston reaches to top dead center we are supplying the fuel that means this is the point where fuel start entering into the combustion chamber so now the typical combustion is broadly classified into four stages the first one is ignition lag second one is rapid combustion or uncontrolled combustion third one is controlled combustion and fourth one is after burning the ignition period that is ignition delay period is counts from the way uh, from the point where the injection starts and where the p theta separates from the pure compression curve this is pure compression curve that means uh, this period is called uh, ignition delay the second one that is called a rapid combustion or uncontrolled combustion starts from the first rise of pressure to the point where the maximum pressure and temperature occur this is the second stage and the third stage is uncontrolled combustion sorry controlled combustion after reaching the maximum pressure and temperature again the we cannot conclusively tell that the combustion is ends because even after reaching the maximum pressure and temperature the fuel is entering you know the fuel injection is taking place that means the fuel is continuously injecting even after reaching the maximum pressure and temperature so that means the controlled combustion period accounts for the point where maximum pressure and temperature occur to the point where the fuel injection stops this is the point where fuel injection stops so third stage that is a uh, uh, controlled combustion fourth one is after burning the fourth stage of burning is after burning the, even after fuel is stopped injected into the combustion chamber the combustion is still continuous up to some extent because of dissociation and reassociation so that is called the fourth stage of burning that is called after burning so ignition delay that means we cannot conclusively tell that after inject the fuel into the combustion chamber it won't immediately ignite it wait for some time and after that it will start burning so that point that means preparation period that means a physical delay and chemical delay together called ignition delay in the next stage of classes we will discuss what is ignition delay and what is what is the exact definition and how do other parameters are affecting this one that means variables affecting ignition delay these parameters we, these things we will discuss in the next class and the second stage is rapid combustion or uncontrolled uncontrolled that means the pressure rises very very high so that is why we call it as uncontrolled combustion that means that we cannot control the combustion because the fuel is injecting and at the same time the combustion is continuous so that means uh, the moment fuel entering into the combustion chamber for example this is the combustion chamber this is the fuel the moment fuel entering into the combustion chamber it burns because this high pressure and high temperature air is taking air particles and burning so so that is uh, that is why the pressure and temperatures are very very high during that means the pressure rises very very high that's why we call it as rapid combustion or uncontrolled combustion the third stage that is controlled combustion after reaching the maximum pressure and temperature don't we cannot conclusively tell that there is a stop you know there is no fuel injection after reaching the maximum pressure and temperature even after reaching the maximum pressure and temperature the fuel is still continuously injecting into the combustion chamber that is the reason so the the combustion is still continuous continuing even after reaching the maximum pressure and temperature that is called controlled combustion but the com combustion is controlled here okay because the piston is moving downward started expansion so even after even after reaching the maximum pressure and temperature even if you supply fuel that is also under control because expansion already started that's the reason and fourth one is after burning so after burning indicates the already fuel stopped and because of reassociation and deassociation processes the combustion is still continuous 
even after the fourth stage of combustion we cannot conclusively tell that there is a 100% uh, you know fuel is utilized during combustion no only 95 to 97% of the fuel is utilized in the combustion process remaining 3 to 5% of the fuel is wastage and it will go in the exhaust without participating in the combustion process that means 3 to 5% of fuel is not participated in the combustion that means 3 to 5% of the fuel is not utilized to generate the heat so that's the fourth stage so these are the stages in the combustion this is the, these are the stages in the combustion in a CA engine in the next stage of uh, classes we will discuss one by one in a brief way thank you very much